My name is Ian Anderson and I'm an Apple Certified Trainer. In this video, we're going to look at some common image cleanup and retouching tasks that are important when finishing a project. First, we'll smooth out wrinkles in a subject's face. Next, we'll blur and pixelate a moving face using motion tracking. Finally, we'll clone an unwanted object out of a shot completely. Derinkler removes small details through diffusion, protecting the edge detail but making large areas of skin smoother. First, you need to select the area you want to diffuse. With the shot in mind, turn Preview Mask on. Move, resize and adjust the aspect and blur of the mask to match the subject's face. Flick Preview Mask on and off and adjust until you're happy. Now, experiment with the Diffuse Width, Diffuse Mix Over and Edges Thicken properties until you're happy with the result. Remember, you can always turn the whole effect down with the Mix property. If you don't need to preserve edges, you could use the Diffusion filter. It's useful if you need to soften the edges of a subject that's slightly too sharp, perhaps to match footage from different sources. A common task in documentary and news is to pixelate or blur out a subject's face to avoid identification. While you can do this with the built-in tools, it's neither easy nor convenient. Instead, we'll use the witness protection filter with a round trip to motion to take advantage of its tracking abilities. With your clip on a sequence in Final Cut Pro, right click and choose Send to Motion Project. Save the motion project next to your Final Cut Pro project file. In Motion, choose Library, Motion Tracking, Analyze Motion, and drag it onto your clip. Drag the crosshairs onto the point you want to track, which should be a high contrast point. If you hold the Option key down, Motion will show you a selection of high contrast points in the current frame. In the HUD, press Analyze. If the tracking goes off target, pause playback, reset the crosshairs, and start again. If you have repeated problems, you can tweak the tracking behaviour in other ways with settings in the inspector. Now we're going to apply our tracking data to our filter. In Library, Filters, C2 Gadget, drag Witness Protection to your clip. You should see a blurry circle on your clip. In the inspector, choose Filters, then look for the Mask Center property. Right click on the name of the property and choose Track. The track behaviour is now added to your clip. Look for the source property at the top and choose your Analyze Motion Behaviour from the drop-down menu. The blur will now be following your tracking data, but it's likely to be in the wrong position. Just move the crosshair to the centre of the face and the blur will keep the same relative distance from the tracked object. Now you can adjust the mask size, aspect, scale and type of blur or pixelization as you wish. Save and close and the effect has now been applied to the clip in Final Cut Pro. If you need to change something, just right click and choose Open in Editor. The same tracking technique is useful whenever you need an effect to track an object in shot. We're going to use it again with the Clone Layer filter to remove an object from shot. This is the equivalent to cloning in photo retouching, except on moving video. As before, track your object with the Analyze Motion behaviour. Now, drag the Clone Layer behaviour to your clip from Library, Filters, C2 Gadget. Clone Layer replaces an area of a clip with a similar area from this clip or from a different clip. Right click to Clone to and choose Track. As before, choose your Analyze Motion data from the drop down in the Source property. Now adjust the offsets in From, X Offset and Y Offset. This defines the source for the clone as a distance from the destination. Now tweak the size, aspect and blur of the mask to best disguise the edges of the cloned area. Play the video back and make sure the settings work for the whole clip. There is a free trial of all the CoreMelt filters available from CoreMelt.com 
and we have some related tutorial videos here on Creative Cow, on colour correction with curves and sky replacement. If you'd like any more help, just ask on our forum. Thanks for watching.